that was an accident, you want her to be responsible for the damage. Yes. The defendant has a rather interesting defense. First, she said, it was a minor fender bender, but it was no big deal. But Miss Peterson says that you rent out your car. No. And that she paid you $75 that night to use the car. Is that correct? Yes. Had you ever given him money before? Just for rides. I, that was the first time I'd rented out the car, but he would pick me up and drop me off. And you paid him for that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Starting when? Um, December. And is that the first time you met him? Yeah, I met him through a mutual friend. When I met him, he told me his name was Gary, so... <laughs> Tell me how you met him. He was giving my friend rides for cheaper than a taxi was, so then I started calling him instead of calling the taxi. So this is his business? Well, yeah. The first time you used him, December of 2015, I want you to tell me about that call that you made to him. She was at my house, and we needed we were going to her house, so we called him, and that's how I met him, was through the first ride. And how much did he charge you for that first ride? I think it was like 10 bucks. It was right in town. That you paid him in cash? Mm -hmm. And when did you use him again? I had only used him, like, maybe four or five times before I borrowed the car. Now tell me about the night of January 8th. Where did you want to go? I was just borrowing the car to like be a designated driver for my friends. Well, you had never done that before. No, uh, he was saving up to move down south, so he suggested that we do $100 a night, but we agreed on 75 Tell me about that conversation. Actually, he had brought it up to my friend and she told me, so then I started talking to him about it, and he said, you know, from 9 p.m. till 9 a.m. for $100, and we settled on $75. He came, picked me up, he got in the back seat. That I dropped was on him. January 8th? Mm -hmm. I dropped him off at his house, took the car. On the way back to his house, I had gotten a minor accident. I then drove the car Tell back me to about his the house. accident. Uh, we were at the stoplight, and the car the light turned green. The car ahead of me started going, and it, they slammed on their brakes as I started going after them, so I bumped behind them. Okay, so you were responsible for the accident? Yes, you. Yes. Don't speak. I, mean, I don't feel like I, I didn't just do $5,000 worth of second. damage. Well, you're clearly responsible for the accident if you hit somebody in the rear. Right. You're not supposed to get that close. So you had the accident. Mm -hmm. What kind of car was it that you were leasing for the night? I don't know what kind of car. I'm not good at <laughs> the kind, what kind of, of car. A 2012 Honda Accent. When did you buy it? July 5th, 2015. How much did you pay for it? 14 something for it. I'm not really sure of the price. Is the car financed? Yes. They require you to have full insurance on a car until the car note is paid off. It wasn't full coverage, it was just you, They require you to have full coverage on a car until it's paid off. All insurance companies do. You know that. Yes. But you didn't have full coverage on the car. No, just liability. So, let me just follow this. You breached your contract with the finance company. Yeah. There is no question that Miss Peterson is telling me the truth, that you were operating your own little limousine business on the side for cash, and that she paid you $75 for the night of the yeah. 8th of January so that she could have the car for the night. So there's no question in my mind that you know you were operating a business with your car, a business that requires a license in every jurisdiction. It's not the worst crime in the world, but do you understand? Yes, you I did understand. the wrong thing two times. You didn't have full coverage on a car that you were supposed to have full coverage on. But she's still responsible. Oh, you think so? I'm going to tell you what the law is. The law is that when somebody comes to court, they have to come to court with clean hands. That doesn't mean if you stole a candy bar in a store three years ago when you came into court and you would merely let somebody borrow your car and they had an accident, I would say, well, three years ago you stole a candy bar so you don't have clean hands. But you're asking the court to help you in a situation where you did two things wrong. You didn't have insurance and you were conducting a business with your car without an appropriate license and lending it. Well, she, I know she used it, and her friend used it. I don't know how many other people you were in this business of giving rides to for 10 bucks, 15 bucks. You were your own little Uber driver, only you didn't have to share it with Uber. Whatever it was, it was word of mouth. So the accident was her fault, but you're asking the court to disregard the fact that you didn't have appropriate insurance and you didn't have a license to operate a business and you were giving the car over to people, some of whom may have had licenses, some of whom no, didn't No, I just have. gave it to her. You mean this was the first time you did that? It was the only time I did it.